Hello everyone. Well, today it's a hot and sunny day out here. I've been exploring in my backyard, having fun, but somehow I got turned around and I got lost in my own backyard. But the good news is, I know that my house lies east of my backyard. And what that means is, if I can simply find my directions and find direction east, travel in that direction, I'll find my house, no problem. Now today, it's modern days, we can just pull out a cell phone, we have, you know, GPS, download a map, whatever, and we can easily find our directions. But what did people do hundreds of years ago, or even thousands? They certainly couldn't pull out a cell phone, right? But what they could pull out was a stick. I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually find your directions, north, east, south, and west, using a stick. Let's do this. All right, guys, well, full confession here. Turns out I'm not really lost in my backyard. That would be a little silly. But if I were, let me tell you, this stick method would actually get me back home. And it would work for you if you were lost out in the wilderness. So the first thing you wanna do is find a sunny area, preferably a nice flat area like this, where you can see a shadow. And what you wanna do is pick up a stick, or maybe you already have one. Maybe you were out hiking, right? And you're like, oh, I'm having a great day, and you get lost. Well, that hiking stick might get you home. So, we'll take this hiking stick, we're gonna pound it into the ground so that it casts a shadow. There, now you can see that's a very nice shadow. What we need to do now is somehow we need to mark the progression of that shadow uh, throughout time. Now you can just pick up a couple of rocks off the ground or in my case I'm just using pine cones because I got more than enough of these in my backyard. So we're going to use this to mark the tip of that shadow. What's next? Well, it's a waiting game basically. Uh, we could wait as little as 15 minutes or uh, to be honest, I recommend like half an hour or, or longer to get a really nice separation between two points. Uh, so when we're trying to find our directions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna come back in about half hour or longer and mark the, where the shadow is at that time. All right? Well, that took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, we've been waiting here for over an hour. A huge bank of clouds came in and kind of slowed things down a bit, which is one of the hazards of using this stick and sun method. All right, so let's see how this exactly works. The shadow was there where that first pine cone is, and as you can see, it has moved significantly. So we're gonna go ahead and mark that tip of that shadow right now. And how this works is all of us know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. We've heard that since we were kids, or it appears to rise in the east and set in the west. Well, did you know that your shadow does the opposite? Your shadow goes west to east. So in this case, the sun would have been here. The sun goes east to west, but the shadow goes west to east, like this. And we can pull up this hiking stick and just lay that across lay this across and get a really nice straight line east to west. Now all we have to do is fill in our north and south and that's very easy to do. All you have to do is draw a perpendicular line like a cross across here. So if we just go like that, draw a line here and a line perpendicular to the top like that, label them north and south. And if you're wondering, like, what goes where? How do you know that north goes up here? Well, your shadow will always be pointing, your shadow is gonna be pointing kind of to the north side. So that's an easy way to remember it, okay? So here we go. North, east, south, west. What we're gonna do next is check this for accuracy. We're gonna compare this using a magnetic compass, which is another way to find your directions. And we're gonna see how these two methods compare, all right? This is our setup for checking for accuracy, and this is real easy. This is something you can actually do at home. All you need is a piece of paper, uh, tape it down so the wind's not blowing it around. Uh, you'll need a couple of pencils, a straight edge, and if you have one of these triangles, that makes it a little easier, but you don't have to have that. Uh, you do need a compass. 
that's important, a knife, and a potato. All right, so let's get this started. I'll show you how this works. This is going to check the accuracy of this sun shadow method and hopefully make this really clear. All right, so we'll start off with our potato. By the way, you don't need a potato. Any root vegetable should work. We'll cut the bottom of this thing off. Oops, I'm going to get juice everywhere. Cut the bottom off so it's nice and flat, just like that. And take one of your pencils and make a hole, just kind of jam it in at a severe angle like this so you can cast a shadow. Turn it around. Hope you can see that shadow right there that the pencil is casting there. Now, the next thing is, just take your pencil and where the tip of that is, just go ahead, just like we did with the, earlier with the hiking stick, just mark it, little point right there. Now, once again, all we have to do is wait, so we'll come back 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, and we will check again. Well, it's been about half an hour, and you can see the shadow has moved, so we'll go ahead and mark that with a dot, just like we did with the stick. And now we take our straight edge and join those two lines. And remember, sun goes east to west, the shadow goes west to east. All right. Now we want to draw, get our north and south lines, so we draw a line perpendicular. It's like making a cross right down the center. So this will be our north line, N, and this will be the south perpendicular again. And there's a kind of a neat way that you can remember this. If you're standing in the middle right here facing north and you just go clockwise, just say never eat soggy waffles. That way you can remember what uh, direction comes to your right hand side behind you and, and whatnot. So never eat soggy waffles. It'll work for you. Now we said we were checking for accuracy. So that's where the compass comes in. So remember, we looked at this compass here and you can see that the needle, this red needle, wants to point north. So let's go ahead and lay this down next to our perpendicular line and see just how accurate we are. Now I don't know if you can see this, but some, this seems off. This red line or this red needle, the magnetic needle, is not lying with the north on here. So we would have to turn it like this so that that would line up. Well that means then we seem to have some sort of discrepancy here. So is one of these two methods wrong? Is the solar shadow method wrong? Is the magnetic compass wrong? Well, it turns out neither one is actually wrong. So we're going to explain that next. So it may come as a little bit of a surprise to some of you, but our Earth actually has more than one North Pole. It has the geographic North Pole, or true north, which is defined by our Earth's axis, but it also has the magnetic North Pole. The Earth is a giant magnet. It has the magnetic North and magnetic South Pole. And let me tell you something about those magnetic poles. They are restless. They're constantly moving and drifting around. So our North Magnetic Pole, it might be in Greenland or Siberia. It could be in Canada or out in the Arctic Ocean. It's constantly drifting. And that is what helps to explain this difference that we saw earlier between our solar method and our compass. So we're going to take a closer look at how that works, okay? Okay guys, well here we got our north and south line that we determined by using that shadow and stick method. This is the line that we created using the magnetic compass. And you can see that there is this difference. Let's put this down where you can... So here we've got the base plate and the arrow pointing to true north or geographic north, and the magnetic compass needle is lining up with what we found out was the magnetic north pole. Now, the difference here, uh, in navigation terms, they call this declination. They're saying that the magnetic needle here, the magnetic line, is declining to the west. And in where I live here, it's about nine degrees. It's different in different areas of the country. It could be more or less. And in rare cases, they could actually coincide and they could agree with each other, which is awfully, uh, awfully convenient. So this shows that if we're off by nine degrees with our compass, that actually shows that our shadow stick method was very, very accurate. 
Well, everybody, I think that we have learned a lot today. We learned that um, our Earth has more than one North Pole. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, what else? Oh, never eat soggy waffles. But most importantly, what we learned was that if you're lost, you could actually find your directions using a stick. And I thought that was pretty incredible. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video on navigation, and I hope you can explore this a little further on your own. It is a fascinating topic. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Uh, hope to see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.